It's Ron and Bree, Ron and Bree, niggas wanna envy me, envy me, niggas know it's Ron and Bree, Ron and Bree, niggas wanna envy me, envy me. She a light skin, John. Like it's called seafood heaven, so you get like two lobsters, a little bit of crab legs, corn, shrimp, the basics. Yeah, basics. <laughs> so before we get into this video, we would like to sincerely, sincerely apologize for not uploading for a while. As I said in the previous video, it's like a lot that we're juggling with right now. It's the beginning of school and all of that stuff so we're trying to juggle a lot of things together plus we're going to school and have two kids so it's like kids at night school in the morning kids at night school in the morning and then we're about to start working like you know since covid is not really i mean covid is still out there but you know now that things Niggas are need more money. open yeah let me open this Thanks for remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you get a post notification shout out at the end of this video. And if you're new, join the party gang. We love to welcome y'all. Remember to follow our Instagram at Ron and Brie Two Eyes, our TikTok at Ron and Brie Two Eyes, and let's get straight into this video because I'm ready to eat. Let's do it. Shoot the juice. I want to take off, sorry guys, but this ring, I treat it like gold, literally, so I don't do nothing with it, so I'm going to put it. I don't have a shirt on, so I'm going to change to So just give us a second. Okay. Back, I had to throw my pajamas on to get comfortable because yeah. I had to get comfortable. <laughs> now, before we get into this video, I'm going to chow down real quick. Every single day, we have 728. Mm -hmm. No more gifts, 800, 900. No, we striving for a thousand. Like, either go big or go home. Period. Period. Can you tell the story time of something really crazy that you ever did? And I'll tell mom when you're done. Nothing really crazy I did. He's more crazy than me, guys. I'm more of like the homebody, not really like into drama. He's more of the social butterfly. Used to be outside, so he has more crazy experiences than me. But go ahead. I don't know where to start. I had a lot of things crazy. Name like the most craziest thing. Maybe what about the first time you got arrested? Mm, I'm not that crazy. And it's all been punched in the top. <laughs> so tell that story, Tom. Well, I don't know the whole full story. 
never told me the full story. He only just said. Uh, a we bunch switching the mic thing, bang into a story time, mic bang story time. <laughs> mhm. Mm this is close enough. All right. So, I was 16 years old, cutting school for my like my first girlfriend, my first, not first, but first girlfriend. Like, we was in a relationship. Tap it in. So, we went to Manhattan, right? 42nd Street. And we was walking. We got caught by truancies because we just walking. Us high school kids just looking like high school kids walking. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be in school. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the cop came with the truancy. The fake cop, school safety. I think he was a real cop, not school safety. <laughs> Where was y'all at? Manhattan. That's a real cop. I know truancy is over there. It's real cops. So, oh, I can't eat. Mm -hmm. So we over there, right? We were walking and walking. I'm trying to figure out what to do because everybody's in school. We cut in school. So the cop grab, stop us, grab us. And the way our school is like, why you not in school asking us mad questions, right? So, I'm just, you know, being me. I'm like, all right, my mom will come get me. Mind you, my mom's at work. So, I my mom come get them. No, I'm skipping too far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, what was that? They stopped us, they bring us to some school. I didn't know what school it was. We are sitting in there, right? Yeah, it's me. And two of my friends, my ex girlfriend, and. Good for your name. Okay, let's call your ex girlfriend. Let's call her Cindy. Mm. Whatever. Let's call her Garbage Can. <laughs> my ex girlfriend, well, they came and took us to the school, so garbage. I was with my friend, my what? friends, my. <laughs> what you gonna call your friend? They, t they picked us up, took us to a school. I don't know what school it was. Mind you, I was with my ex. I'm gonna call her Trash Can. I was with two of my friends. I'm gonna call one of them G and one of them R. So, so we get to the school, right? They're calling our parents and stuff. You know, we making jokes. Me and my friends making jokes. While my Trash Can just sit there looking scared. Yeah. So. Mm. I was over here thinking about it. Okay. All right. So yeah, we sitting there in the room. We sat in the room for hours. We sat. We was there from eleven to like four. Y'all got to be together. Mhm. Mm we was all together in the same room, and then. And then that's when I, like, we was making jokes, we was making too much jokes, right? So that's when one of the um, security guards or whatever in truancies got mad and started yelling at all of us. And I was, I didn't do nothing, I was just sitting there not saying nothing. So somebody threw a fucking goldfish at me, Swedish fish. I turned around, I was like, bro, like, stop playing. Then I did it, I did it like two, three times. I did, somebody did two, three times, so I turned around, I was like, boy, stop playing. So they think I'm talking to my friends in the back after they just moved us around from talking to each other. And then he goes, he tried to move me again. So he said, get up. I was like, for what? He said, get up, move me a seat. I said, for what? So he lift my chair up from behind. Lift my chair up from behind like this. So I stood up. Picked up the Swedish fish and threw it in the garbage. Well, trying to go to throw it in the garbage. So he was like, he grabbed me and said, Where are you going? Mm. I am getting juicy. <laughs> right, I'm in there like. He grabbed me and said, Where are you going? I said, I'm going to throw this in the garbage. And like, I'm tired of it because he grabbed my shit. I'm like, Alright, let me throw this away and calm myself down. Because the trash can is from like, say this is the trash can and this is where I'm sitting. Like right here. So I walked to the door, 
I told him trying to he grabbed me. I turned around, like he grabbed me, so I turned around, like he goes me, like, you know how I go like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the guy, the security guard grabbed me, so I go like this and spin around, like, what? They touching me. He said, where you going? I'm trying to throw this away. He's like, no, you need to go over there and sit down. I was like, what? I would walk out this building right now. So, you know what he did? The nigga punched me in the face. For real? Yes, he punched me in the face. So I, you know black what I did? Metal. What? He, nah, he was black. He was black. He was like this tall, he, he way told me. He punched me in the face for no reason. I'm like, what? I said, nah. And I just punched him mad hard. And then all you saw was him drop to the floor. Boom! And then, <laughs> and then, and then everybody just looking at me like I'm crazy. So yeah, I punched him. He felt the brown. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Her uncle took care of her real quick. So don't think we're being bad parents. Good to you. I hit him, he fell to the ground, and he had his knee, and he had his head when he was falling. So, and then a lot of cops and security guards rushed to the room. I, I think they put the school on shut, um, lockdown. So Man, you was in a different school? Yeah, it wasn't my school. It was somebody else's. It was a different school. Okay. Yeah, they put the school on lockdown. Everybody just stand at Mac. Security guard, mad cop running, rushing in. Uh, so it took like six of them to throw me on the ground, put handcuffs and put a handcuffs on me. Yo, my hand, my handcuffs was so tight, my hands was freaking. God Jesus! My man. handcuffs was so tight, my hands was freaking turning blue and purple, like. If I, if How I you show, know? Cause I was looking at them, I was going like this, cause it was hurting me. It was like really hurting, and, and my, it was like when he took it off. When I got to the preset, I mean the bookings, my thing was all blue, and my skin was all pushed in, like this. It's like when you leave. Um, Why you didn't tell them? We leave a rubber band on your wrist for too long, and you can see the mark. But it was way worse than that. Why wouldn't they say it was too tight? I did. They said they don't care. So yeah. I was handcuffed to the chair, sitting there for hours and hours. Then they took me to the freaking. They took the guy out in the ambulance, the cop. And they, they took mad long to take me to the preset and mad long to take me to the bookends. Had to process me, you know. Everybody was saying, free me on the book. And that's the first time I got arrested. There was so many people. I, it's half the people I didn't even know, most of them. It's me. Like, I knew a lot of people, but. Did so, anybody record you? No, we ain't have we ain't have a phone. They took it away from us. Like nobody from the outside. No, cause they locked down the school and they took me out. Dang. Right. So, continue with the story about what happened after, like when you got into the book and like what was the like, the judge telling you and stuff like that when you oh, see like, the judge. Oh, it's like he's like, oh, you're a good kid. You don't have nothing on your record, you know. Or, you know, you broke his knee and you broke his nose, I think. You broke his knee, you broke his nose, and he wants to press charges. Of course, all cops want to press charges if you hit them dickheads. <laughs> so, he was like, since you're a first time offense, um, you get community service. That's, they make you do community service instead of going to jail. I had to do, I hated community service. Wow. They said I could not contact him. I don't remember the nigga name. I could not tweet him, tweet him, text him on Facebook, number, nothing. Like they order protection against me. But I'm here now. I did my, I did my um, community service. Oh God. Okay. I don't really have nothing crazy. So. You like my nose? Hmm? No. Okay. I gotta think about a story. Hmm. You know, since I never finished telling y'all about how we first met, we should do that story time. 
I'm this time I'm gonna just long. no. Nah, this okay. time I'm gonna just sum it up because y'all have half the part on YouTube already. So let's get into because a lot of y'all be asking me to this day, oh, how y'all met? How you got Bree? How you got Papa? This and that. Just like yesterday, his friend just asked that. So for y'all who want to know the rest of the story. I'm gonna finish that because I don't know what else to talk about. Uh, like I said, I'm not really a crazy person, so. I am. Ah, oh, I thought you was crazy. No, I'm crazy to what I tell you. But I just don't like being in the streets, drama. I'm not that. I'm yeah, onto myself. That, Sorry, if I die from my sleep, just know I didn't die in my sleep. <sighs> I don't know what I forgot what you were talking about. I don't have a friend, man. I didn't even get into it yet. So. For the ending of how we first met, so I don't know where I first ended off at in the other video, but I'm gonna just start it from where I seen him out the window. It's a little short from there. So she see me out the window and she was like, "Oh my god, that nigga is sexy." <laughs> Boy, let me tell she you. She cannot that. even deny it, bruh. I did say that. Nope. But shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, my friend, I'm gonna call one. I forgot what I called him in the other one. I'm gonna call one. Shitty butt and shitty butt. No. Crystal and. Desire. That's uh, Isis Niece Me. No, yeah, that's Isis Niece Me. Um, but, alright. Desire and Crystal. If y'all names really out at there, comment below. <laughs> Crystal and Desire was talking to his friends. We gotta call one. Tito. No. Tall, tall doofus. And the other one's gonna be named Medium, Medium Puppy. That's what we're gonna call him. Medium Puppy and Tall Doofus. That's what they were talking to. <laughs> So um, my friends have weird names and your friends just have normal names. Okay, so what you wanna name them? Okay, let's go. T Dog. That's still a weird ass fucking name. T Dog. Because <laughs> so your friends get that new name, my friends get that weird name. <laughs> okay. His friend we could call him. I just saw Tall Doofus earlier. <laughs> no, we're gonna keep those names, okay? Okay, so those two, <laughs> and they was like, oh, um, they're, uh, what was that? They were basically, so Medium Puppy and Desire was trying to set us up, basically. And I kept saying the whole time, I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to talk to nobody. You want that? You want the sauce? Yes. I kept saying, I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to talk to nobody. They still didn't listen to me. Well, Desire didn't listen to me. So, I don't know about his side. He will have to tell you about his guy side over there. From what I know, it was his birthday. They were trying to get him a little present. I was the present. And I think, yeah, we Ooh, both. that was a bad present. But look at you now. Boring. Three years later. Mm -hmm. Ha! That's what she said. Mm -hmm. I'm punching your face. But we were just getting out of um, relationships and stuff, so it was like both of us didn't really want to meet each other, but we was like, fuck it, why not? Kind of thing. It was like that. So we wake up the next morning and we see medium puppy, tall doofus, and him walking, right? I didn't see him at first. What's my name? Give me a name. Why do you want a name? They know you Call already. Call me Little Doofus. <laughs> they know. They know you already. <laughs> so, um, I didn't see them at first. So, Desire and Crystal see him out the window. Like, wow, they're coming up, they're coming up, they're coming up, they're coming up. They're coming up. And then I was getting out of the shower, and I look out of the window. I'm like. Why is there three of them? Because mind you, if I said it in the last video, they showed me a picture. 
told me you pick like who you think is cute. So I thought his friends was not saying like that, you know, the other guys, whatever. But I'm just saying he won my heart. I don't know. I was just like lying. I was like, ooh, he's cute. And then I was like, yeah, but don't call him. I'm just saying he's cute. Like, don't be huff. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. So, mind you, I'm shy and I don't like to start over or talk to people like that. But I was like, yeah, he's cute. Blah, blah. And it was like, she was like, of course I'm cute. Because I was like, okay. Of course I'm cute. They got them. Because I was like, okay, like sarcastically. So I guess medium puppy and um, desire set that whole thing up. And they come with fear. See them walk through the door. I was like, is this really happening right now? This guy right here in this house that I'm standing in. And then I was like, oh, he look good. At first, I was gonna be shy and be on my phone. But then I was like, mm -hmm. fuck it, why not? Because I don't give a goddamn about it. So then I put my phone down. I'm afraid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell my part because I don't know his guy part. Y'all have to hear both sides because it's like I'm telling my girl side, he got his boy side, whatever. So, um, he was like, I walked out of the bathroom. And I was still in a towel, but I had the towel wrapped around me. And I was getting my clothes because I didn't know it was coming that early. So, I went to get my clothes to get dressed in the bathroom. And he was just like looking at me. And I looked at him and then I smiled. And then I went in the bathroom. Look at that. It was like awkward at first. And then, like, Desire has this speaker in her room. And she was like playing music on it, so of course he has to come in and play music from his phone everywhere he goes. If y'all know Papa, y'all know this nigga has to play music everywhere he goes. Like literally everywhere he goes. I'll play music right now. To the corner store right around the block, he will play music in his car blasting loud. And if y'all want to see the video of his bass, go to his channel at what you can name? Which channel name? PP sub one two three four. No, what's the channel name? Ron, I don't even know. Well, it's gonna be in the description so y'all can hear that bass because he be wildin' just to the corner store.